Charlie, dealing with weak water flow and pressure can be very frustrating, especially in the long run, but there are solutions. So what's the difference between water flow and pressure? Well, water flow or flow rate is how you measure how much water there is. So it's usually liters per hour, liters per second, gallons per minute. So it's always an amount over a certain time period. That is flow rate. Pressure, on the other hand, we normally meet and measure in bar, PSI, KPA. Now that is the actual force pushing the water through your system. So are they all measured differently? They are all measured differently in terms of flow rate and pressure. Pressure, like I said, will be in bar or KPA, bar being the more popular one. And then flow rate will, what's popular once again is liters per hour. Charlie, how do flow and pressure work together in a household system? So now in this system, Jorne, my outlet valve is closed. So there is currently zero flow. On all Pascali pressure units, you will find a pressure gauge, which will indicate what the pressure in the system currently is. Now in this case, there's zero flow. So I should be about three and a half bar on my pressure gauge. Yes. Excellent. You will notice that as soon as I open this valve, my pressure is going to suddenly drop because there's an outlet. There's nothing, no pressure behind it. As soon as this unit senses it, you will notice by the pressure gauge, it's first going to drop to almost zero, then the pump's gonna kick in and it's gonna kick up. Now this system was designed to run under three bars of pressure. So that is ideally what we wanna see on the other side as soon as I open my valve. Let's test it. See how the yeah. pressure falls yeah. and there drop it climbs. And, back. and what pressure are we sitting on now? Three. Three bars. So I designed the system correctly. Perfect. Once again, you will notice as soon as I close this, now there's zero flow. So what's going to happen to my pressure? It's going to climb. Yeah, it's climbing. Yeah. It'll get to about 3.5. 3.5. And then switch off. And yeah, 3.5. And we're waiting and it talks to it and it stops. There we go. And then plumbing pipes, how do they affect like flow and pressure? Flow and pressure. Now remember, let's start with flow. Plumbing pipes are normally between 15 and 22 millimeters. So you can only get a certain amount of water through that pipe. So that's how it would affect your flow rate. The smaller your pipe, the less water you can put through it. Now, with, as with anything, imagine yourself running through a tunnel. Tunnel's nice and wide. Okay, you're running through freely. But now that tunnel closes in on you your elbows start rubbing against the walls. That's friction. Same thing happens in a pipe. So when that water moves through, the more water that goes through, so in other words, the bigger the guy moving through that tunnel, the more friction there's gonna be. So that is actually going to bleed your pressure away. Charlie, after all your advice, I'm under a lot less pressure. Pascale has a specially selected range of high quality water pumps designed and developed to provide simple to install water management solutions for in and around the home. The Pascale range is user friendly, carries a one year warranty, all parts are readily available and so is great service nationwide. Available at leading hardware and agricultural retail stores across South Africa.